Each installment of Ben's Tours takes you on a visit to a special place. This time, join me on one of my most special tours as I fulfill an almost 30-year desire and complete a bucket list journey to Petra, Jordan. An avid Indiana Jones fan, the first time I ever saw the treasury in Petra was in 1989's Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. I was mesmerized by the structure, and when I discovered it was real and not some sort of movie set magic, I longed to visit in person. Petra is a UNESCO World Heritage Site in southwestern Jordan. Dating back to somewhere before 300 BC, it was the capital of the Nabataean Kingdom. Located amid rugged desert canyons and mountains, and accessed via a narrow, winding canyon called al Sikh, Petra contains countless ornate tombs and temples carved into red, pink, and white sandstone cliffs. In 2007, it was designated as one of the new Seven Wonders of the World, and by Smithsonian Magazine as one of the 28 places to see before you die. Today, local Bedouins selling tourist souvenirs hawk their wares and rides on camels, donkeys, or horse-drawn carts. If you learn no other Jordanian, you will learn the phrase la shukran rather quickly. It means no thanks, and you will be using it. A lot. The Bedouins, many of them children, are rather persistent and quite numerous. Be firm, but polite, and do not hesitate, or they will take that as a sign of encouragement. Make sure you have some Jordanian dinars, because even if you escape without a tourist trinket or two, you will need to hydrate, and the price for cold bottled water was actually pretty reasonable. Our organized tour spent about five hours at Petra, arriving in the early morning. We made the walk from the visitor center through the al Sikh until it revealed its great surprise, the treasury. We walked the length of Petra's high street past the theater, royal tombs, and Khazar al-Bint. We hiked up the 800 plus steps to the al Dir, the massive monastery facade. In total, the hike was about 13 kilometers or just over eight miles round trip, and it was hot and sandy and rather exhausting in the time we had to catch our tour bus. But it was a thrill of a lifetime, and I am so glad to have accomplished it. I did it. No, no, it's fine. Okay. 